All right, guys, I'm talking very quiet because there are workers at this golf course and I don't I want to fish here and they kept staring at me and I'm kind of afraid they're going to kick me out. I got to go through this tunnel over to my left to get to the spot where I'm fishing. I fished it before, but I have not fished it in the morning. And it looks like there's a lot of employees there. So what I'm going to do is be really, really quiet, sneak through that tunnel, get to the spot. The lure I'm going to use today is uh, a mouse and I'll show you right here on my camera. Zoom in on it for you guys, it's right there. Use that. Use that, um, use that top water mouse and see how it works. I have a good feeling it's gonna work in this pond. All right guys, I'm gonna go sneak over there. Let's see what happens. I'm nervous about going in here because if I go in the tunnel and there's an employee in there with a golfer, well, I'm kind of in trouble because they'll probably kick me out. I'm not even there yet, so if it does, an employee does come, I'm just gonna uh, act like I'm just fishing here, not even act like I'm going over here because I did not think we're allowed in this spot. I fished it before, but I was told the other day I'm allowed fishing it, so I don't really care. Tunnel, I'm kind of getting nervous. Just gonna check and see if anyone's over here. All right, guys, let's go. This is a sketchy part. Do not want to get caught up in them. Boy, you see me going in here, or a, another golfer. All right, there we go. All right, guys, I'm in the tunnel. No one's in here. It's kind of sketchy, but we can do it. All right, gotta hurry up, hurry up. Hurrying up. That's the end of the tunnel. There we go. All right, now I gotta run up here pretty quick. <laughs> run up here. All right, I'm on the pathway. All I gotta do is get down here and I'm good to go. All right, get down here. All right, we're good, guys. Because right here, if I can see, they cannot see me. Because all these trees and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is turn my GoPro on and fish this. Guys, again, guys, what I'm using is this mouse. Some live target. Uh, have used it only used it once. Caught one fish off it. So see how it does here. Here, because I don't think they can see me at all. So we're good. I wish I can get down those cattails. That water's clear. This has moss on it, but I'm pretty sure if a bass wants a mouse, they're gonna eat it. I heard there's 10 pounders in here too, so we'll see everybody. We'll see. Oh, something behind it, I think. Yeah, something's chasing this thing. That was a hit, guys. You hear that? All right, guys. I think I'm going to switch. Well, let's do this a couple more times, and I'm going to switch that frog. It looks like these fish are just...
time I come here, that ambulance goes off. Got one. Yes. Oh, he got off. He got off. Darn it. Yep, he got. He, I got that one. Took that one clean right off it, man. He destroyed that one. I don't know if you could hear me because the ambulance or fire truck, but I had one on. I had one on and it got off. He used that stick, there's a stick over there, and he used it to wrap, wrap my line around it and it just got off. It felt a decent sized bass too. So I kind of moved over to the left. Right underneath that tree. Oh my God, you guys saw that, didn't you? You guys saw that, didn't you? Oh my God. Biggest explosion of my life, I seen that right there. <sighs> Throw that back underneath there. That was a freaking, that looked like it was a monster. Man, for some reason, I can't hook them. It was a monster hit. So I had what five reaction strikes, one on here, and um, got off. I thought that was for sure a fish, for sure a fish. I gotta get back by the trees. I think they're just sitting up there, waiting for a frog to jump off the land or something. A smaller profile right here this frog I know the legs are kind of broken off of it but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work a little smaller profile see how this does with these smaller fish that are hitting it yeah I just need like one smack on it then it's gonna be good There we go, guys. See, see, he hit it. He took it under. He hit it. He took it under. You saw that. The first cast, they took it under. And it was easy for him to take it under. So now we know that's what they want is this tiny frog. First cast, guys. I just think these bass in here are not that big to take these lures down. So you're gonna have to wait a second, then pull it up. Whatever, dude. You guys see that? That was a fish. Keeps throwing it in right there, throwing it in. Got one, guys. Oh my God. Come on. Keep it tight. Yes, finally. Woo, took me forever to do that. Right on top of its mouth. Look at that, guys, how I hooked it. Right there, right on top. That's what you need to do for these fish. Getting these all, missing them all day. Right there. It's a good man. I'm so happy right now I caught that. All right, guys, right here, there you go. The first frog fish you can see. I got it right on top of its mouth right there. So, again, 
my first frogfish right there. Been waiting forever to get this. All right, guys. So basically, um, I caught one fish. It was very exciting. I uh, missed one. I could have brought it in, but it went around this stupid stick and it got off. So I lost one. So it looks like the frog has one. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to a different pond over here. It has a lot bigger fish, and the water is really, really clear because there it was like really, really mossy. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I got different frogs. I lost that frog in a tree, so I gotta replace that. So that was day one of the challenge. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I kind of had to sneak in there at first. It was pretty fun, but uh, I got in, so I'm not worrying about it. So tomorrow, I'm going to make part two. Uh, hopefully, we'll see who wins. It looks like the uh, frogs in the league won nothing, but I have a feeling the mouse is going to win. The mouse will, because it looks a lot better in the water. Its tail wraps around and stuff, so it's pretty good. So again, guys, make sure you uh, check out those t-shirt links I'm putting in the links. Make sure you check them out. I think they're pretty cool. If you want one, grab one. Appreciate it. Um, again, just want to say thanks for subscribing. I'm at 500 subs. If you guys can get that, click that sub button. Give me the 500. I truly appreciate it because at 1,000, I'm doing a giveaway. Make sure to comment below and tell me what's your favorite topwater debate to use in ponds. All right, guys, as always, catch big fish. Have a great day.